What's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cairo. We're in the top 400 or so of Mythic Standard Constructed. Or I should say Mythic Constructed. We're playing Standard Best of One. Here's the deck. The deck is Is It Dragons. Uh, a few months back, we saw the popularity of Is It Epiphany, and then with the exit of Epiphany in Standard, then we saw some Is It Mill, but we're going to go back and test a Dragon's build, because I think the power of Goldspan Dragon is still pretty undeniable. And then at your very top end, you have Holebreaker Horror, which is just an insanely good card, uh, tremendous value. So let's break down the deck before we get into the matches. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. I thank you very, very much, and here we go. We have three Fading Hopes. This helps against aggro to bounce their early stuff, and it also gets you a scry to make sure that you hit your land drops. This also is unconditional to bounce something back to a hand, so even in the late game, if somebody plays something that's a big 5-6 drop creature, you can just go ahead and throw that back into their hand and make a nice tempo play. Play with Fire. A strictly better shock. You can deal 2 damage to any target. You can aim this at your opponent's face if you need to get the extra two damage in for lethal, but typically we use this as early removal, killing Luminarch Aspirants, Jakai Naturalists, little pesky two drop creatures that tend to grow out of control. Spike Field Hazard, oftentimes we'll use it as a land, but the fact that it does exile when it does the one damage instead of uh, just killing something means a lot. Three Jwari Disruptions for early countering. Two Negates. There are a lot of non-creature spells that really matter in this format. And having a card that's efficient, like Negate, to get rid of it is pretty clutch in those situations, particularly in Control Mirrors. Dragon's Fire. Since we do run Gold Span, we like to have Dragon's Fire's two drop four damage removal. Four Smoldering Eggs. We have a lot of instants, a lot of sorceries. If you can get an Ashmouth Dragon on the field, or sometimes I think in a match we're able to get two uh, at one time, it's pretty devastating. Expressive Iteration, use this on turn two to line up and make sure we hit our lands and line up our draws and, and plays for the next few turns. Great card. Shatter Skull Smashing for removal, Crush the Weak. Thinking about upping this to two, but I, th I think one is fine right now. Um, crush the weak exiles things instead of just sending them to the graveyard. So things that matter like with the Naya enchantments or Naya runes deck, you'll see that two drop come back to their hand. If an enchantment died or left the battlefield, they get to put it back in their hand. So this takes care of that. There's a decent amount of graveyard recursion with those, those Naya runes or enchantment decks out there. So this helps with that. Prismari Command, having four different modes comes into play a lot here. Usually you'll be slamming two damage on a creature with this and then creating a treasure token. But in Control Mirrors, when people play the Celestis or they play um, big vehicles or things like that, destroying the artifact can come into play too. And to a lesser degree, drawing two cards and discarding two cards, though it does happen and sometimes that can be clutch. Two Memory Deluge, great card draw spell. Two Unexpected Windfall. If you're familiar with the Is It Epiphany decks, this is not a change from there. These are the best uh, card draw spells in the colors right now. Burn Down the House, we can use as a board wipe. Or we can create three little devils, either as chump blockers or to finish with lethal damage. Plus, it costing five, if we do create the Devils, we can really make sure that we transform these into Ashmouth Dragon, letting them uh, attack when they couldn't. Four Gold Spans, because Gold Spans are just undeniably good. And we finish out with two Holebreaker Horrors. As far as land, we have Otawara Soaring City, which is the blue legendary land from Kamigawa that you can channel out for four, and you can return an artifact creature, enchantment, or planeswalker to its owner's hand. The uh, diversity of the targets on this is actually very, very good. So we'd rather have a Fading Hope for a creature, obviously. But whenever you need to return an artifact, Planeswalker Enchantment, this is clutch. Sokens on Crucible of Defiance. <clears throat> Usually this will be used to summon Chump Blockers. But 
If you need two damage, you have two damage here with two 1-1 one, one colorless spirit creature tokens with haste. Channel that out for four. Pathways, post to Field of Ruin for getting rid of pesky man lands like Cave of the Frost Dragon or uh, other lands that are problematic that our opponent plays. That's it for the deck breakdown. Let's get into the matches, and I will see you at the end. Thank you very much. Okay, opponents going first. We're on the draw. We have four lands. We have a Dragon's Fire and a Burn Down the House and a Gold Span. We have a Spike Field if we need to use it as removal. Rather not, but looks all right. Sentinel. Spike field down. Another sentinel. Okay, not a ton of damage coming in on us. Let's throw down Otawara Soaring City. We'll hold up Dragon's Fire and Jawari Disruption. Rather Jawari Disrupt the old growth troll before it hits the board than it want to deal with it. Seems alright. Although they could just tap these to stop it. Alright, well let's see what they do. Briar Ridge Tracker. Okay. Take the two. I don't know that we can afford to take four next turn, so let's just Dragon's Fire this out. Field of Ruin. Go with the Coast. Other Tracker. Okay. Channel this out, create a couple chump blockers. Okay, let's see what else they have before we wipe the board. Chariot. What else? They have access to four more mana. Let's keep in mind. Blizzard Brawl. Okay. See if they put anything else down. They do not.
burn it down. Fading hope, you love to see that. Let's go into the gold span. Start getting aggressive. Memory Deluge. Um, let's get the play with fire in our hand. Put the island back. Deluge. We'll get a Windfall and a Prismari command. I'd like to locate another gold span. Here's a troll. Okay. Destroy an artifact. And we'll create a treasure token. Let's windfall first, see if we can locate another gold span dragon. Cannot, right? Then we'll go in here. And we have enough to hold up Fading Hope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we can hold up. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can do both. So let's do an iteration. We'll grab Chatter Skull Smashing and Fading Hope. We'll just Fading Hope this right now. Prismari, sure. Let's say go. <clears throat> Troll. Control. All right, got there. Yeah, we, so we could attack with the gold span dragon, bring them to four, and then we'll have the ability to just play with fire, bring them to two, and then we could use Prismari command, bring them to death. Okay, three lands, two of which are storm carved coasts, so we can play that turn one, then island on two, and then our other coast comes in untapped. An iteration, we have a deluge and a dragon's fire and an egg. I think we're good. Let's rock and roll. Coast down. Island. Let's get the egg down. Okay, so they had an island, they put a right climb pathway in their graveyard, so it looks like Esper. Uh, red, alright. Strange times. Egg. Iteration, see if we can dig up a land. We 
you can. So let's grab... Gold span to our hand. Windfall back and coast. We'll say go. Okay. They haven't done anything this entire time, so do we slam an island in a gold span? Seems like a bad play. Let's go iteration again. Let's grab another gold span, burn down the house back in hand, and command. See if they want to counter this. This way we force them to actually be proactive their next turn or right now. Yeah. Absence. Alright. See what they've got. Devastating Mastery. Student cost paid. If the student cost was paid, an opponent chooses up to two non-land permanents. They control, returns them to their hand. Okay. Well, let's play with fire. This means we can gold span, go in for four, generate treasure token, use that to play with fire for another two, bringing them to four. And then if they destroy that, we have another gold span in tow. Seems fine. If they deal with a gold span, we have another one and a play with fire. Got him. Got there. 297. Okay, we're going first. We have two lands. But we have both colors. We have an iteration and some early removal. Yeah, let's hope we, we draw land. I think this is okay. Play this on blue. Well, it's only blue, so obviously. Cairo, come on, get with the program. Um, here, iteration. Okay. One into the hand. It's got to be a land. Fading Hope back into the deck. Dragon's Fire. <clears throat> we say bye-bye to that. But we need to hit our land drops, for sure. Okay, looks like Naya runes to me. We have a Prismari command. Throw this down on red. Um, let's wait. We'll Prismari command kill the. Well, I'll kill the naturalist now because I don't want their reduced casting cost for their enchantments. So we'll kill it now. We'll create a treasure token. 
then we'll set ourselves up for if we need a board wipe or a windfall and we'll stop their cheap enchantment spells. Good damage, treasure. Once they get those runes stacked on something, it's hard to come back. There's another one. Okay. Looks like a dragon's fire is going to go on that. Probably. See if we can dig up a land. Field of Ruin and a play with fire. So. That's tough. I want all of these. I guess we'll put... Play with Fire in hand. Deluge back in Field of Ruin. Yeah. If we play an egg, use the treasure to kill this, they play some other creature, and then we just set up to windfall, and then probably get going. So that's probably the play. Yeah, Hollowed Haunting would have liked to have had Negate for that, but I think it was still the right play. Runeforge Champion. Sure. Rune of Speed. They cast the enchantment, they make a cleric. Okay. Rune of Speed. Alright. Okay, so we can burn down the house, but we lose our dragon. So I think what the play is here is we go dragon's fire, make the smoldering egg into a dragon, kill the uh, spirit here, then we spike field hazard the runeforge champion, and then deal two with the dragon. That's probably good. I guess we do it now. Actually, you know what? Let's do this.
Okay, they have a 1-1 one, one spirit. Alright. Um, yep, bounce. Two. I don't think we need to land. Two. In. Nai runes is strong, but we were able to get there. Okay, we're going first with two lands. We have an egg and a fading hope. I don't like that. Okay. Now we have more lands, so we have a Prismari command to burn down the house. So we'll play control for a little bit, hope to draw into our gold spans and our big stuff and our finishers. That's fine. Um, get rid of the Jawari. We have more. Coast down first, so we have access to both Spike Field and Fading Hope, depending on the on the opponent. Like Bant, Reckoner, Bank Buster. All right. Prismar Command will take care of that. We'll do it now, so they can't tap anything. Destroy. And we'll draw two, discard two. Let's put away the hole breaker. Put away the burn down the house, because I don't think they're going to be playing any little aggressive creatures. Yep, search for basic planes. Discard a card to bring the bank buster back. All right. Annoying. Haka Whispering Raven. It's been so long since I've seen this. 2-3 flying when it deals combat damage to a player return to its owner's hand scry. So on the other side it's Alrun. It's a Alrun God of the Cosmos. Okay. Take that. Play this as a land. Say go. Have memory deluge available. Sword of the Realms. Very interesting. Whip there. Okay. So that way when it dies, they get to bring it back to their hand, right? Yeah. True.
really interesting. Okay. Deluge. Um, like a gold span. And... Land. Be interested to see if they crew it again. I'll run. We can only crew this for three, so they can't use Alrin to crew it. If they crew it, we'll dragons fire it, kill the bank buster. And we'll find a bounce maybe for Architect, but it's still, even if we bounce it, it still sucks. Okay. They can't play it this turn. Get rid of it. They can't replay it. Do they have a snakeskin veil? Is that the last card in their hand? Camilo's safekeeping? Wow. Alright. Okay. A race it is then. Play with fire, ensuring they're dead next turn if they don't kill us. They have five, six, seven. Layer the Hydra can be one, two, three, four. But we can play with fire on one of their things if we need to. It's going to be really close. Hydra's coming in, so we have to sacrifice this clue token, hope that we draw a bounce spell or a dragon's fire or something that can remove it. Which we have a fair amount of that in the deck, so find out. Negate. Poop. All right, bring it in. Come on, bring it in. We'll hit you. What were we going to draw? Island. All right, bring it in, you old bastard. Come on. Ugh. Dead. That's cool seeing um, I'll rend, though. That was pretty neat. Opponent goes first. We have three lands. Um, we have some early disruption here. Don't like the hole breaker in the hand, but that's fine. Okay. Well, they're on is it colors, so. Probably a spike field here. I don't really see that we're going to have a use for it. Foretold. Okay. Do 
we negate anything here? Probably not. Let's go. Let's go egg. Another egg. Holding up a fading hope. Turn it to hand. Close this down a little bit. I'm glad that we were able to scry land out of that. But now we can hold up in the gate for a Jawari disruption if we need to. It says to me that they really don't like their hand and they want to generate some mana. So let's not. Do this so we can try to scry, make sure we hit our lands, because we want to get the hole breaker out at some point. Countered it. Um Okay. Yes. Old span in. Hold up a Jawari disruption. Now we're cooking with gas. Rush the week's not going to help us really here. I mean, we could just play it. Transform one of our eggs. I think that's really short-sighted, though. Let's just go in with a gold span. That gives us some holebreaker mana at the end of their turn. Plus holding up a Jawari. The top four cards of your library reveal an instant or sorcery among them, put them into your hand. The rest on the bottom. Alright. Fading Hope. Okay. So we throw it on the Hullbreaker Horror, they fading hope it back to our hand. Or do we wait? Let's wait.
transform our eggs. And if they want to do anything about it, we'll crush the weak and deal four damage to their face. Yeah, got there. Awesome. So that's going to wrap up our video for Is It Dragons today. I like the deck. I think it performed pretty well. And it's nice to go back and uh, do Is It Dragons instead of just Is It Epiphany or Is It Mill. Those decks are good. But I've always had a soft spot for the dragon builds. Um, there are only four dragons in here. So it's a little bit you know, generous calling it a dragon deck. But basically, your main attacking, your big creatures are dragons. And Holebreaker Horror just tops it off there. But it's basically just control. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.